exhortation. And I have to laugh. This morning, my, on my Facebook, I got a memory that popped up with these verses. And I had to laugh. Okay, it is 1 Peter 4, verse 12 and 13. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. And I laughed. I said, here we go again. Here we go again. When I was in Frisco, um, and, and the, we were, you know, meeting here, and, and we had a lot of people and a large crowd, and, and it seemed like everybody else had this wonderful life, and I was constantly in trouble. And I couldn't figure out what the problem was with me, that we were constantly having money problems. We were constantly having trouble with, the, you know, the kids in school, there was in the business, all that. What was going on? You know what was going on? This verse. It says, Beloved, think it not strange. And that word strange is shock. Concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice. Oh, that is not easy. Rejoice? How about throw a hissy fit? How about complain and murmur? You know, I've had uh, several people come up to me and they say, I can't understand why we are in this position. Well, guess what? We are. We are. So what are you going to do about it? You're going to rejoice. You're going to rejoice. It says, in so much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Rejoice. You know what I like about these times? I'm getting to the point where I almost appreciate them. Because you know, I am my strongest. I have the most strength. I have the most faith. I have the most joy. When I am up to here in trouble. Why? Because I'm forced to. I'm forced to obey the word of God. Turn with me to Philippians 3.10. I had like three situations this last week that I didn't need all at once. I said, you know, can't we do this once, one at a time? And I love what Smith Wigglesworth said. He said, this really ministered to me. He said to a, a person that was in dire need of healing, their husband was, he was dying. And Smith said, it is now time to put your whole trust in God. Your whole trust. It is lovely to be there. It is lovely to be there. It forces you to use your faith. I love when I'm in the middle of it. I don't like the beginning, and I don't like, you know, having to do it. But when I'm in the middle of it, that's when I'm my best. I am absolutely up. And I had that situation a couple days ago, and you know what? Every single one of the problems got solved. Why? Because I was using my faith. I was rejoicing. Now, Philippians 3.10, that I may know him, that I may know Jesus, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection the power of his resurrection that's what I'm after I've got maybe one toe in the water I see miracles working for me and with others almost constantly but that is not enough I want to see the big stuff I am going for the big stuff and it says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And how are you going to get there? Oh, I didn't like this second part of the verse. And the fellowship of his sufferings. The fellowship of his sufferings. That word is hardships. The fellowship of his sufferings. You are not going to get this without suffering. You're not going to get the prize without paying the price. And the price is suffering. So you rejoice that you get an opportunity to rejoice. You get an opportunity to suffer. And that next part, what does that suffering do? It says being made conformable unto his death. Unto his death. 
You know, in the situation I'm in now, and you all know it, Kathy's dying. Kathy doesn't get to do what Kathy wants to do. Kathy doesn't get to go where Kathy wants to go. Kathy doesn't get to plan her day like Kathy likes to plan her day. You know why? Because she's dying. She is dying. And you know who's raising up? Jesus. For the first time in all these years that I've walked with God, I now understand the verse, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I never understood it. Yeah, I could read the words, I could sing the song, but I never understood it. I am the best when I am in the spirit and in prayer and on top and moving forward and I don't care what I see because I know every single time I have been in a situation like this God does miracles to get me out and I have some big ones you say you never suffer well then you never see the miracles you say you never have any trouble then you will never see the power of God work on your behalf and you just stand there and thank God. Amen? So we rejoice. We don't complain. We don't murmur. We stand and we believe. Amen?